Well, hi, this is Jim with JSK Bull Ropes. Uh, we're going to take a look at Travis Miller now. Travis comes from a longtime rodeo family. His dad's a three time world champion in the bareback riding and senior pros. Brother rides bareback and actually braids bull ropes and fights bulls for me, for us here around the valley. So uh, we're going to take a look at him. Travis has uh, been working a bunch on trying to get up on his hand moving forward here. Lay down, Travis. Come on, just breathe. Well, you can hear Drew Blessinger back there giving him a little bit of advice there. Uh, you know, well, that, there's that's Drew. Uh, any advice you can give is probably good advice, <laughs> and I guess unless it's bad advice. But you'll see Travis leaving here kind of straight up and down, real good. Um, as you see, that bull's moving forward here. He's lifting on that bull rope, and that's, you know, I can't say it enough. When you lift on that bull rope, it slides your hips back there towards the flank. Makes it real hard to get by bulls. Travis really gets away with it because he sets them hips good and strong. Now, he comes from a horse riding background. That setting your hips kind of comes natural to him. And you see right there, again, he's lifting on his bull rope as that bull's jumping forward. Slides his butt off uh, towards the flank. Kind of makes it hard getting around the corner. Again, set near hips. If you can get back there, hustle, set your hips, you know, you just might get away with it. Don't advise it, and I darn sure don't recommend it, but, uh, you know, if you look at Travis here, he's pushing on that bull rope, trying to do what we're teaching him, and uh, getting that weight moving forward. But if you look at his wrist right here, Travis has got a case of the new bull rope blues. That's a new bull rope with a hard handle, and it's kind of got his wrist cocked underneath him where it kind of mashes him on his butts. So he does a real good job getting off his butt for that new bull rope. And then, of course, you see here, setting them hips hard. Uh, coming into his hand right here again. Moving forward, uh, kind of pushed for a second, and then started lifting. Again, in the middle there, setting his hips. You know, he just does a great job. Look there, that bull's perfectly level. Travels is sitting straight up and down on him. So now when that bull goes to kick, wham. He's going to come around there, set his hips real good, ride the momentum of that kick back to the front end. Uh, you know, and like I said, that's setting his hips like that is what's really getting him away with lifting on that bull rope. Uh, just riding that momentum forward. And you can see as that bull's coming around here. Uh, Travis is really, you know, kind of doing a good job there. He got a little behind, so he pushes on that hand just a little bit longer, try to get that them hips shifted back in there to the inside of that spin, get the weight on that left leg. But you can see here, every time he comes around, you can see his bull rope behind his legs. Travis is really good about keeping every, trying to keep everything up front. We're just working on keeping, getting his butt moving up front now. And again, right there, Travis kind of doing the Adriano, Marias, pry on your leg into your hand move. And uh, we're great for Adriano. Uh, we're just trying to, you know, maybe get Travis to do it just a little bit better, maybe a little bit easier job on some of these bulls. But again, sets his hips, comes around there. Uh, you know, you see there, he's uh, kind of mashed on his butt, has butts back towards the flank. Makes it kind of hard to get around the corner on him there. Travis does make it work, and to come from where Travis was to here is miles of improvement. He was kind of one of them guys you love to watch because he was either going to go out there and bust out a good bull ride and spur up to his neck, or he was going to land on his head somewhere or another uh, in a Wild West faster, fashion there. So, but... Uh, he does come out of here at this practice and does a stunt I haven't seen in, you know, God, four years. Uh, Travis usually has a one-point landing straight on his head, and he's always in the store buying new hats. But as you see here, he does. He jerks his wrap, steps off of that bull right into his hand when the bull riders straighten him out. Kind of, you know, lands on his feet, stays kind of low, moves away. That bull kicks over the top of him. Boom, there you are. That's bull riding 101 right there, setting your hips. I, I can't stress it enough. It'll help you ride.